what are the free goods <laughs> excuse me <clears throat> so that's a funny example here for the uh, x <clears throat> but it could be anything so um, free goods is like um, when um, so let me show you something before I start it um, let me cancel this so you have seen before I've shown you before that okay um, if we for example if we selling a uh, say laptop okay and you want to uh, give a laptop back free okay then what do you how, how, how you can do it so you want to you, you need to enter two items in, in sales order but second item should be free item okay so what we do is I will enter the second item for example the first item is your laptop and the second item is your uh, I'll say one item okay press enter <coughs> Okay, so second item is suppose is a, is a laptop. But if I want to make it free, what I can do is I can here change the item category. Okay, so now system is picking both prices and is saying uh, $10,000 or something, uh, 20. And if I change it to T double N, 10, okay, that means it's a free item. 10, free of charge item. See this one, 10. If I select this one, that means <coughs> It's a free of charge item. It again doing the availability check. New pricing carried out, and it will, it will reduce the price. See, the price is only twenty. So this one must have be uh, set. This the price for this one must be uh, ten thousand dollars. Okay, so it's the other way around. So laptop bag is ten thousand dollars, and laptop is twenty dollars. So anyway, so <clears throat> if I scroll to right, so ten means system will ignore the price. Ten means it will make it the it price free. Okay, so for example, if I scroll to right, so yes, this is the actual price, but the net price is zero. Why? Because of TA double N. Because of TA double N. So system will ignore the price for second item and it will take it to delivery and everything, but the ultimate, the billing and, and every way, the price will be zero for this item. Okay, it will only consider the first item price. Okay, but if you think about a business where, where you need to do it something regularly, okay, and uh, um, so again depending on this quantity you want to again there's some more criteria for example say if a customer is buying 20 laptop only then we want to give them say 10% um, of the free free goods okay so it's just like this is the language of SD free goods okay so free material we want to provide when the minimum quantity is 20 okay or we want to create some different formula that when this is a the quantity then this should be the free goods when this is a the quantity this should be the free goods okay so it could be more complicated as well okay but if you think about it if you want need to do it manually it's how how big big task it is you need to remember every time and there could be some uh, manual or human error as well okay so for this type of things we have this uh, thing called uh, free goods okay so free goods <laughs> there are two types of free goods <clears throat> there are two types of free goods okay so one is called inclusive and one is called exclusive okay so <clears throat> inclusive is for example if if my company is selling eggs right and uh, you want to give the customer free eggs okay the, the, the whatever you're selling the same thing is free okay it's not something different that's called inclusive okay and here for example you can say that when the customer is placing an order of 100x okay then the then 10 percent of that x should be free what that means is if i create a sales order for 100x right so that means uh, 10 percent of that should be free that means 10 will be free 10 will be no 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 pricing and 90 of them will be the actual pricing okay if i'm creating a sales order of 100 okay this is inclusive. Inclusive basically when we're using the same product as a free product, as a free goods. Okay. Then we have thing called <coughs> exclusive. So exclusive is when we, you, you're selling something else, but the free thing that you want to give it is something else. It's not the same product. It's something else. Okay. Here they're providing chicken or something free, but uh, it could be something else. Okay. So free goods in the sales order. So again, on the left hand side you can see inclusive. On the right hand side you can see exclusive. So let let's see inclusive first on the left hand side. Okay, so inclusive means if you see this circle, 
that that's what is explaining that if they're placing an order of say uh, five pieces of the X right so out of them 20% we want to give them free that means if they place an order of five pieces of X then four will be free four will be as per the normal cost and one will be free so system should automatically calculate the what is the 20% of the order placed okay so if they place an order for five system will say 20% is one and I will make one free and four will be the actual cost okay that's inclusive so so again here the product is same egg and egg and the other uh, other uh, example is exclusive so exclusive is when the customer pays an order for five X right and the some some other product we want to give them free in this case we want to give them free a duck okay so five is five but there's some extra product we want to give it a free this is exclusive okay so is that clear what is inclusive what is exclusive okay so let's continue <coughs> with this one okay thanks Manish <coughs> so that's our inclusive and exclusive then <coughs> what happens is we create some master data for this one okay so let me do some practicals for this one so what happens is we need to go to this master data again logistics sales and distribution master data and uh, products and uh, free goods uh, material, material not here oh sorry not here it should be in the conditions it should be in the conditions okay so here so you can see free goods okay vbn1 <laughs> great so let me create a condition type okay so <laughs> i will open this and i will select uh and uh na00 is a standard one uh, is it yeah, NA001 is the standard one. Press enter. Okay. So I will say for this sales organization, this distribution channel, and this is a customer, and I want to create a free good determination. Okay. So here I will say P1091. Okay. When this is there. Okay. And I will say when the customer places an order for minimum quantity, say 20. Okay. I want to give the free goods only when the minimum quantity is 20, not less than that. Okay. Then I will say that for for every 10 piece, okay, one should be free. Okay, for every 10 piece. So when they place an order for at least 20, okay, of the of the of this product, okay, less than 20, no discount. So at least 20, and the discount will start. For every 10 piece, I want to give one piece free. Okay, the press enter. <clears throat> so you need of measure need to enter PC. Okay, so you can see minimum order is 20 and uh, 10 is the minimum, uh, sorry, for every 10 piece, I want to give one free. Okay, so that is like 10% discount here. Okay, so there's another thing called, I'll explain this one in a minute. So let me save this one. Okay, so I've created P0, P1091. So let me save this. Now if I create a sales order for this one, and uh, press enter <coughs> that enter <coughs> press this material okay now first i will enter only 10 materials okay so i created a discount for at least 20 pieces right so uh, if a sales order is there for 20 pieces then only the discount should happen but let's see what happens when i'm entering 10 it will give you a message See, there's a message in the bottom. It's saying at least 20 quantity we need to give them the uh, free goods. Okay, just a warning. If I press enter, warning will be gone. And there's nothing free here. See, nothing free here. Okay, so let me change it to 40. I'll make it more than 20. 40. It doing the, it's doing the availability check again. Continue. Continue. Now you can see if I go up 